good kid, but I also felt uh, it was something I had to do. And I intend to stay here until justice rolled out of the halls of Congress. So uh, that evening, I took my sleeping bag and my little rucksack, and I went down to the front gate at the Resurrection City and said, gee, I want to get arrested with you tomorrow, and, and can you find me a place to sleep? And they said, well, we're not admitting anybody who hasn't previously um, been, a, been a resident of Resurrection City. It was dark, and I was contemplating what I was going to do. I didn't have any place to sleep. And um, this guy leaned out over the fence, black guy, about my age, maybe a little older, and said, uh, what are you up to, man? And I said, well, I want to get arrested tomorrow with you, but uh, um, they're not letting me in through the gate. And he said, oh, well, we'll find a way. So we walked down a little ways along the fence, and he found an opening and um, brought me to his shanty. Walked in, and there was a bunch of guys, all black guys. And it turned out they were Blackstone Rangers, which was an infamous Chicago street gang. But these guys were really nice. They found me a bunk, and they welcomed me. And so I spent the night sleeping in the tent with the Blackstone Rangers. Next morning, we all got up and had a bowl of oatmeal from the camp kitchen and a cup of coffee and marched off to um, the Capitol grounds. And there I was, following Reverend Abernathy, uh, to uh, commit an act of civil disobedience. We are only just beginning to fight. We all crossed over an invisible line and, and were arrested and carted off to the Washington City Jail. Uh, and there I was in Washington City Jail, sitting next to Ralph Abernathy. And um, I'm certainly starstruck. I was sentenced to seven days uh, in jail with all these heroes of mine. We were shipped out to a minimum uh, security detention center in Northern Virginia. We stayed in this kind of big dormitory and had political discussions all day. And people who were veterans of uh, Birmingham and Selma conducted classes on civil disobedience. If I must join Robert Francis Kennedy and Martin Luther King, I still will not bow down. And it was a very powerful experience, and it reminds me that there was a lot of flashy radicalism in the later 1960s and a lot of brandishing of guns and chanting of slogans. And But the true radicals uh, were the, the people who came earlier, who really changed America, who transformed America. I do not know how long will be, nor what the future holds for me. I was just glad to have had some contact with them for that brief moment, the, the very end of that heroic era. I shall be free. Yeah. Someday. Yeah.